Hello, I'm back again making another video showing you how to do some things online. <laughs> um, this time it is uh, it's another Facebook related video. So the first thing you're going to do uh, on mobile, steps very similar on computer, but I'm doing it on mobile because most people use mobile. So you tap the three horizontal lines in the top right that's just under your uh, little messenger thing right here. Once you get in here you're gonna scroll all the way down to the very bottom. Uh, don't tap log out. Uh, you don't need to do that. Uh, you're gonna tap just above log out. Tap settings and privacy. It has a little gear to the left of it. Once you're in settings and privacy tap settings again. Um, right below where it says settings and privacy. And then you're going to scroll down to the security section down here. It says security and login. <clears throat> Under that it says change your password and take other actions, add more security accounts. So you just tap security and login. All right, so once you're in here, uh, it actually shows you where you're logged in. Some of this information is correct but um, sometimes it shows a different place than you actually are because it goes by IP address. Like I've been shown to have been logged in in Houston, Texas, and Dallas, and Atlanta. Uh, so the, the area is really not accurate that it, that it shows all the time. Uh, so, but anyway, you know, I'm going a little further into it than I need to. Uh, you don't need to check that where you're logged in. You actually just scroll down and tap the change password. Once you tap change password, you'll tap in the uh, current password section. You'll enter your current password. And then under that, you'll enter your new password and retype the same thing you entered in the new password box. And you click, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you tap on save settings. If you don't know your current password, because a lot of people just stay logged into Facebook for months at a time without ever being logged out, because Facebook doesn't automatically log you out, uh, you might need to tap forgot password. And what's going to happen is they're going to ask you some information that either you only know or they're going to send an email to the email address that you use to sign up for Facebook. Uh, they also have some other steps like um, that are other processes that they might take you through if you can't happen to log into your email address. So there's steps that you can go through. Uh, once you have your password changed, the people who have compromised your account should not be able to uh, post to your things using your account anymore because it's going to automatically kick them out. You're probably going to have to, you're probably personally going to have to re log back in using that new password you created. They're not going to be able to log back into your, your account though. So they won't be able to make those posts. Now, after that, you still have the situation going on where um, there are posts, or uh, in, in this person I'm talking about's case, uh, there are things for sale in the Facebook marketplace under their profile. So after that, I'm just going to go back here. I'm getting out of the settings section. And I'm actually going back to where I can see um, my name and profile picture. And this comes up when you first get into Facebook anyway. Uh, so you can see your name. Now, I'm sorry, I do need to go back in the settings. I need to go back under the tap to three horizontal lines again. And up at the top right where it says my name, I'm going to go ahead and tap on my profile picture. And then I'm going to tap on down, uh, it's uh, below the profile picture and a little bit to the right it says activity log. You tap on that, once you tap on activity log it's going to pull up your um, activity log. It's going to pull up what you've done. In, or what your account has done in the past uh, uh, usually it goes back months so what you what you would do is you'd scroll down this list until you found something that you didn't do 
uh, actions that you didn't do, it, it shows everything. It shows likes, it shows comments, it shows posts, it shows listings that you made in the um, marketplace. And they call it a carrot usually, uh, but it's this little tiny gray um, down arrow that's to the right of whatever you did. If you tap that, you'll see it pops up and it says delete. So if you find anything, any activity that you did not do, just go ahead and tap delete. It's gonna delete that. So it's gonna delete, it would delete that listing out of the marketplace, delete any posts that you made, maybe tagging your friends. That's the new frequent one that tags a bunch of your friends in a post, and tells them, hey, click and watch this video or click and go to this website. Um, so you just scroll through that and delete any posts that you did not make. Like I said, it's very similar on desktop. You would just go into the settings on your desktop or, or laptop or whatever computer you're using and uh, go through the same steps. Uh, so once you've done all that, then uh, they the, the hackers or whatever you want to call them, they won't be able to get back into your account again. And the post that you made will be deleted. So... Hope you found this helpful. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I do uh, videos like this. Um, when new things arise, when I think of things that might be able to help people or if somebody asks a question, uh, give the video a thumbs up or leave a comment if you want to. I uh, hope this helps some people out. Thanks for watching.